My name is Glenn Bunsen. I live in the smallest house in the world. I enjoy the freedom that having a really small house gives me. Everything I need is right there at my fingertips. A lot of people have been talking a lot about so-called tiny houses. 160 square foot places, 180 square foot places, with towers. My house fits in a van, a regular sized van. I'm not about space, I'm about time. I have lots of time now because my house is always with me. My commute to work is literally seconds. No bridge and tunnel for me. Wherever I need to be, I'm already there. When I first thought of this truly small house, the tiny house community was all container boxes and other such colossuses. So they asked me, how could I possibly live in a 25 square foot house with a three foot ceiling? I don't know about them, but for me, I like to totally relax when I'm home. I don't wanna be all standing up and walking around. And if I want to stand up, Yahtzee. Well, I think it is weird. It's just pathetic. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm really happy for Glenn. Living in a really, really small house, it's his dream. He, I respect it. He's doing it. But he's been so distant since he moved into that thing. I don't know. We don't hang out much anymore. Yeah, no. Glenn just stopped hanging out with his taller friends. I mean, if your friends are smaller, you can have more of them, right? I guess you have to consider these things when you live in a house that small. What would make a person want to live in a house that small? The toilet is a hole in the floor covered by a Frisbee. The smallest house in the world isn't going to waste Base with a toilet. People were telling me I needed a throne in there. So I put one in there as a joke. Some people were looking pretty silly when they saw that picture. Yeah, man, Frisbee is perfect. It's flush with the floor, so it's not in your way when you're kicking back. And you always have a Frisbee ready for action. This project has been a learning experience for me. Like, uh, I wanted my house to be green. But when I tried to shoot a video of it, it like disappeared. It's a video thing or something. So I painted it a different color green. And it turns out a greenhouse is something else anyway, which I totally knew. 
So my house has a small wind turbine which I stick on the roof. It's gonna be so awesome when I figure out how to get electricity from that thing. My sink has a gray water system that I use to water my flower box where I grow arugula. Also, I found out that one of the big criteria for being green is proximity to public transportation. Today, my house is super green. There's a giant pile of steel and concrete over there that people live in. They call it a green building because it's close to the subway. You could literally fit a million of my houses in that thing. Really, the only thing I ever missed living in a small house was my recliner. But now, if it looks like it's going to be recliner weather, I'll do a chair share or whatever. Get something on recliner.org or uh, chair b and Then, I'll just grab a recliner for the day. Drive it back to my tiny house in an Uber. Five stars. I must pose the question. How small is too small for a house? I will answer my own question. This house. The shower is sick. I use such a small amount of water that shoots out at extremely high pressure. My shower will clean you in ways you never imagined. And when I'm done with my shower, I'm already where I'm going. No. No. You can't just roll your house anywhere you like and then live there. You can't. Living in the world's smallest house, it's not for everyone. Some people want a big house and lots of stuff to put in it. Even people who think they like tiny houses, they're actually talking about medium-sized houses. Hey, whatever. I believe everybody has the right to pursue happiness. What makes me happy? Music. Hanging out with friends. Having a place. All the rest is stuff.